Good morning, guys. Not exactly like feeling top quality. Um, I don't. I don't feel bad. Let me explain. What? Oh, it's a hawk. Um, I woke up this morning. Of course, kicking covers. Because I put my neck down. I was having a hot flash. Typically, the face does too. But my face feels like I have it in a freezer. And uh, it's just really cold. My face is. So I thought I'd come out here to enjoy the warmer weather to warm me up. And it is just nice outside. It's not cold. It's not hot. It's not cool. It's just comfortable. No humidity. So it's not warming my face up. So I'm like, damn it. So I think I'm gonna have to resort to taking a like a shower and just letting the warm water hit me. But as one typically does, whenever they are trying to figure out why just your face is only cold. I googled it. Be hypothyroid hypothyroidism. It could be a clogged artery. I'm like, oh great. So one or the two or and neither one of those are great. Um, and then I slept on my arm and it's I wouldn't say hurting, just uncomfortable. Um the hypothyroidism kind of sounds more legit. I've had family with that. Um, also it, it would explain a lot of the, um, of course these the symptoms can fall along with other issues that I am suspecting as well. Um, one being menopause, um, the depression, uh, extreme fatigue all of a sudden, which y'all know me, I am always tired now and I just can't wake up and I'm always yawning. Maybe that's why. I don't know. I'm not going to like this too much, but... Hmm. This feels good. I don't like being close to these leaves because the ants are everywhere. So we're not going to be able to stand there because it's bad enough they're crawling into the house somehow. But, this is what we're dealing with. Currently, <laughs> so I'm gonna stay here so I don't bother you. Yeah, it's tight. The muscle's tight. I switch arms. I'll give that a rest. Anyway, um, I'm gonna hop off here because one, I'm not gonna stand here in my hallway, um, and two, I'm gonna go ahead and take a hot shower and see if that doesn't help. Um, and then three because of the lights flashing. And I don't want to irritate any of your guys' vision with all my flashy lights. So I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so I'm so sorry. Forgot the light. It is a habit, you guys. Um, so I took a shower, just got out of it. I'm still wet a little bit. I'm dripping from my bun. And, uh, I do have a towel on and I got a blanket on because I needed to warm up. Um, I had the hot water on my face and I just had held my face under there and during the hot water it still felt ice cold. I don't know what's up with that. To touch it doesn't feel cold but it feels cold like sitting here. I don't know what's up with that. A little concerning. All right, guys. I have no idea what I've. Oh, damn it! Stop! Stop! <laughs> I 
I fell asleep. Obviously, I look like a wreck. I don't care. But I feel even worse than what I look. My whole body, it was just my face. My whole body, like, inside my chest, feels like ice cold. Um, my whole, everything about me feels cold. And it's, I've got the air on to 75, 76, so the air's not on. There's no, f I have a ceiling fan on. That's always on. Um, and sit here with a blanket. And I don't know if it's like a bug or something going around, like a flu bug or something. Because other than just feeling cold, like, way different than just if you're outside cold. Like, my insides are freezing from the inside out. And that sounds dramatic, but that's how I feel. Other than that, I feel okay. Nothing's, you know, bothering me. You know, I'm not having issues breathing, um, my chest isn't hurting. Everything is okay except for just frozen. It's like the inside of me is frozen and it's slowly coming out to the outside. And, uh, but my body temperature is normal. Um, and I don't feel like I need blankets Although I fell asleep for a couple hours with a blanket on, I was took it off. I was sweaty, but I'm still cold. Like I'm not. It's hard to explain the inside of me. So I don't know. I'm a little concerned about that. I think that's very odd. Um, I'm making dinner, and it probably is the less healthy option that I have here but I wanted some kind of comfort type food and I was embarrassed to say it I'm making mac and cheese and peas and I'm gonna mix the two together because I like that and I'm not having a meat with it uh, and that's all I'm having and I'll probably sit and eat an entire bowl of it um I have plenty of rice and beans from yesterday that I need and should have made, but I wanted mac and cheese. Like, I don't feel well. I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to have what I want to eat. Um, I want... I want a lot. I want pizza rolls. I'm going to put those on my list. I get pizza rolls, I need ranch. Ooh, or honey mustard. I know that sounds gross, but I love them. Pizza rolls. Holy hell, those are expensive. There they are. That was the massive bag. I don't need a massive bag. And ranch dressing. It's so easy to get your store list ready whenever you're uh, all you do is literally just shop click that I wanted one um, there's my total so far I don't know if you guys can see it <laughs> on 38.09 um, I need to check and see if I've got certain, like, butter and things like that. Something's not available in my cart. Mozzarella cheese. What was I getting that for? Oh, a pizza.
I need to really go through this list. But anyway, it's just not feeling right. Um, and of course, I overreact and think that everything in the world is wrong with me. Um, and then I'm dying. And I know, in reality, I'm, it's probably just some kind of bug or something going around. Um, Jay had a bug over the weekend that caused him to be, like, severely upset stomach and the shits and all of that and, like, a 24-hour thing. Like I said, I woke up like this and it's, you know, been 20, you know, been about 12 hours. So I'm hoping by the time I go to sleep tonight and, uh, wake up in the morning, I'll feel better. Um, I'd like to be able to pump myself full of some vitamins and stuff, but I don't know what light up is what help. I know I need like vitamin C and things like that and I don't have any more of those, so I don't know. Anyway, I've got my macaroni on the stove top that I need to go and stir, so I'll talk to you in a bit. Alright guys, it is 9.45 on the dot, and I've got my hot meal in my belly and watched a wonderful Christmas movie. It's a 2023 movie called The Christmas Menu. Amazing, amazing movie, and very much right down my alley. Um, it says it's got Jesse Holderman, James Liddell, and Jamie Crabe. Crab, crab, C R A I B. And let me tell you, it was everything and more of what I wanted to watch tonight. Um, so much that I might want to rewatch it again, like tonight. I'm very impulsive like that, and just I get hung up on certain movies and a, a certain feeling that they give me. And um, <laughs> I'm like, well, maybe I'll. I'll catch more of these cues and things so I know how it ended now. So I can look and see, you know, what's what I may have missed earlier. So I'm thinking that might be, be something that I do. Um, but I am feeling better. Um, the, the meal got in there and warmed me up. And the movie, you know, was great. I'm in process of uh, going to put my hair in some braids. It's not going to be perfectly parted. I'm just half-assing it. Um, I should go get a brush and brush through my hair. But, yeah, I definitely need to. Wow, it's a tangle. Alright, maybe we'll just stop here with my hair bit. I'm pulling out like tons of hair too. Get out. And just little hairs. Little tiny wavy hairs that just get interlocked with one another. I thought that yeah there's a couple hairs there. But anyway we're gonna stop that for just a second and uh, I'll talk to you guys and then um, I'm like multitasking. I'm trying to do a braid. I am watching a vlog and watching a movie. And then on the phone, you guys are all kind of watching a different vlog, um, a medical vlog. So <laughs> I will watch one for a minute and then whenever it kind of simmers down in excitement level, I will pause it and then go back to the other one. So. I don't know that I'll be awake too much longer. Um, I do think I want to make a um, some warm tea before I go to bed and uh, have a little snack and uh, see if I can get a good night's rest and then wake up hopefully feeling much better. I am feeling much better and more cheerful, more peppy. Um, know what I have been feeling all day long. Um, so, I'm very hopeful that things are going to be good. 
I've not talked to Steve in a couple of days. One, because I've not been feeling great. I've been feeling really weird and, like I said, really tired. So, um, I don't want to just sit there and yawn and complain and over the video that I'm tired all the time. Because, I mean, I, I am, but I don't like being that person. Um, so I think tomorrow, providing that I'm feeling okay, I'm going to give him a call and hang out on video for a few hours with him and uh, hopefully see Jay. I'm looking at a picture of Jay right now. Oh, every time I look over there and I'll see him, he just kind of look at his eyes are kind of, there's a certain look that he gives me. And you know, you know what he's on, what's on his mind. You can tell what he's thinking. And you can't help but smile at him. But, uh, anyway. Let me show you what I'm looking at. Disregard my lovely bottle of Tums. And my bug juice that's here in a jar. But look at that handsome face. Oh, I just can't take it. I don't show a lot of, actually I don't show any of him, um, but um, I don't want you guys thinking I'm crazy just staring off to the side of my phone just smiling like a goober. But he is my whole reason for my smiles. I also got a email or a text from my, technically it's my daughter, but would have been my granddaughter, Briella. And it's like a, they're doing some kind of school fundraiser for books. And it starts out, um, Dear Nana Bird. <laughs> Dear Nana Bird, it's Briella. And then talking about an amazing presentation at their school, list what their school is. That got her so excited about reading. It's so important. Will you help me earn some fantastic books to read as part of our book, book blast book drive? Wow. Say that five times fast. Book blast book drive. I'm asking my family and friends to help me expand my home library. All of your contributions will go towards my new books until I have earned every book on my list. Any additional contributions will help my classmates have books too. Your love and support mean more than you can imagine. If you can help, any contribution, no matter how big or small, will make a world of difference. Um, book Blast. Book. Book Blast Books Are Fun dot com. Love, Briella. Sent by Books Are Fun on behalf of Briella. <laughs> it's the cutest. Nana Bird. Ends on November 10th. She's already, she's, her goal is $240. She's already earned $120. It's the cutest. She's halfway there. <laughs> 